Today's message is for those of you who are tired of living paycheck to paycheck, struggling to make ends meet, and feeling trapped in a cycle of financial stress. I know how it feels because I've been there myself, but I also know that it doesn't have to be this way. In fact, I firmly believe that each and every one of us has the power to change our mindset and create financial freedom in our lives. And that's exactly what we're going to talk about in this video. The five keys to changing your mindset and creating financial freedom. So if you're ready to break free from the limitations of your current financial situation, if you're ready to take control of your life and your future, then I urge you to keep watching. Because I promise you, by the end of this video, you will have the tools and knowledge to turn things around and start living the life you truly deserve. Let's get started. Starting with the fifth key to changing your mindset and creating financial freedom, which is practice gratitude and abundance. You see, mindset is everything. It is the lens through which we view the world and ourselves. Our mindset determines our thoughts, our actions, and ultimately, our results. And if we want to change our results, we must first change our mindset. This is where gratitude and abundance come into play. Now, you may be wondering, what exactly is gratitude and abundance? Well, let me break it down for you. Gratitude is the quality of being thankful and appreciative. It is the act of acknowledging and recognizing the good things in our lives, no matter how small they may seem. On the other hand, abundance is the state of having more than enough. It is the belief that there is always enough to go around, and we are deserving of it. So why are gratitude and abundance so crucial in changing our mindset and creating financial freedom? The answer is simple. They shift our focus from scarcity to abundance. You see, most of us operate from a scarcity mindset. We believe that there is not enough to go around, and we must compete and fight for our share. This mindset is limiting and can hold us back from reaching our full potential. On the other hand, when we practice gratitude and abundance, we shift our focus to the abundance that surrounds us. We begin to see opportunities and possibilities that we may have otherwise overlooked. We start to appreciate what we have instead of constantly chasing what we don't have. And this shift in perspective can have a profound impact on our lives. Let me share a personal story with you. When I was a young man, I was struggling financially. I had a job that barely paid the bills, and I was living paycheck to paycheck. I was constantly worried about money, and my mindset was one of scarcity. But then I stumbled upon the concept of gratitude and abundance, and it changed my life. I started to practice gratitude every day. I would take a few minutes each morning to write down three things I was grateful for. It could be something as simple as a warm cup of coffee or a phone call from a friend. And I also started to believe in abundance. I told myself that there is always enough to go around, and I am deserving of it. Slowly but surely, my mindset started to shift. I began to see opportunities that I had never seen before. I started to appreciate the things I had instead of constantly chasing after more. And before I knew it, my financial situation started to improve. I got a promotion at work and I even started my own business, all because I changed my mindset from scarcity to abundance. Now, I am not saying that practicing gratitude and abundance will magically solve all your financial problems. It takes hard work, dedication, and perseverance to achieve financial freedom. But what I am saying is that it all starts with your mindset. And gratitude and abundance are powerful tools that can help you change your mindset and ultimately change your life. So, how can you practice gratitude and abundance in your daily life? It's simple. Start small. Just like with any new habit, it takes time and consistency to see results. Here are a few practical tips to get you started. Firstly, start a gratitude journal. Every morning or evening, take a few minutes to write down three things you are grateful for. 
It could be anything from a roof over your head to a delicious meal you had. This simple act of acknowledging the good things in your life will shift your focus to abundance. Secondly, practice affirmations. Affirmations are positive statements that you repeat to yourself daily. They help to reprogram your subconscious mind and reinforce positive beliefs. Some examples of affirmations for gratitude and abundance are, I am grateful for all the abundance in my life, and I am open to receiving all the good things that come my way. Lastly, surround yourself with positive and grateful people. We are greatly influenced by the people we spend the most time with. So make sure to surround yourself with people who have a positive and grateful mindset. Their energy and mindset will rub off on you and you will find yourself practicing gratitude and abundance effortlessly. Which leads us to the fourth key to changing your mindset and creating financial freedom, which is surround yourself with like-minded individuals. First and foremost, let me ask you this. Have you ever heard the saying, you are the average of the five people you spend the most time with? Well, I am here to tell you that this statement is not just a cliche, it is a fact. The people we surround ourselves with have a significant impact on our thoughts, actions, and ultimately, our results. Think about it. If you spend most of your time with negative, unmotivated, and financially struggling individuals, what do you think your mindset and financial situation will be like? On the other hand, if you surround yourself with positive, driven, and financially successful individuals, do you think your mindset and financial situation will be any different? Of course it will. That is the power of association, my friends. Now let me clarify something. When I say surround yourself with like-minded individuals, I am not talking about surrounding yourself with people who are exactly like you. No, I am talking about surrounding yourself with people who share similar values, goals, and ambitions as you. People who will challenge and inspire you to be the best version of yourself. People who will push you out of your comfort zone and help you grow. People who will support and encourage you on your journey towards financial freedom. You see, success is not a solo journey. It is a team effort. And the team you surround yourself with can either make or break your success. That is why it is crucial to carefully choose who you spend your time with. Now, I'm not saying that you should cut off all ties with your current friends and family if they do not fit the criteria of like-minded individuals. What I am saying is that you should be mindful of the time you spend with them and seek out new relationships that align with your goals and aspirations. So how do you find and surround yourself with like-minded individuals? Well, the first step is to identify your values, goals, and aspirations. What do you want to achieve in life? What are your core values? Once you have a clear understanding of these, it will be easier for you to attract and connect with people who share similar values and goals. Next, put yourself out there. Attend networking events, seminars, and workshops related to your interests and goals. Join online communities and forums where you can connect with like-minded individuals. And when you do meet someone who resonates with you, don't be afraid to initiate a conversation and build a relationship. Remember, the people you want to surround yourself with are also looking for like-minded individuals. And you could be the missing piece to their puzzle. Now let's address the elephant in the room fear. I know that for some of you, the idea of reaching out and connecting with new people may seem daunting. You may be afraid of rejection or judgment. But let me tell you this. Fear is just a temporary emotion, but regret is permanent. Do not let fear hold you back from creating the life you desire. Step out of your comfort zone, and I promise you, the rewards will be worth it. 
Another important aspect of surrounding yourself with like-minded individuals is to be a giver, not just a taker. The relationships you build should be based on mutual support and contribution, not just what you can gain from the other person. Be willing to share your knowledge, experiences, and resources with others, and in return, you will receive the same. Remember, the more you give, the more you will receive. Lastly, I want to emphasize the power of a mentor. Surrounding yourself with like-minded individuals also means finding a mentor, someone who has already achieved what you aspire to achieve. A mentor can provide guidance, support, and valuable insights that can help you on your journey towards financial freedom. Seek out successful individuals in your field of interest, and don't be afraid to ask for their guidance. Most successful people are more than willing to help others who are on the same path as them. Which leads us to the third key to changing your mindset and creating financial freedom, which is educate yourself about money. You see, many of us have been raised to believe that the only way to be successful is to get a good education, get a good job, and work hard for 40 years until we retire. But I am here to tell you that this is not the only path to success. In fact, it may not even be the best path. Education is not just about getting a degree or a diploma. It is about constantly learning and growing both personally and professionally. And when it comes to money, education is the key to unlocking your financial freedom. So, what do I mean by educating yourself about money? It means understanding how money works, how to make it work for you, and how to make it grow. It means learning about budgeting, investing, and creating multiple streams of income. It means understanding the difference between assets and liabilities and how to acquire more assets. You see, most people spend their entire lives working for money, but the truly successful people make money work for them. They understand that money is a tool and they know how to use it to their advantage. And the only way to do that is through education. Now, I know what some of you may be thinking. You may be saying, but Jim, I'm not good with numbers. I don't understand finance. It's just not my thing. Well, let me tell you something. I was not good with numbers either. In fact, I barely passed math in school. But I made a decision to educate myself about money, and it has made all the difference in my life. You see, education is not just about what you learn in school. It's about what you learn on your own. It's about reading books, attending seminars, and surrounding yourself with people who are successful in the areas you want to excel in. It's about being curious and constantly seeking knowledge. Now, I want to share with you a few key areas that you should educate yourself on when it comes to money. First and foremost, you need to understand the power of budgeting. This is something that many people overlook, but it is the foundation of financial success. A budget allows you to track your income and expenses and make sure that you are living within your means. It also allows you to see where you can cut back and save money, which you can then use to invest and create wealth. Secondly, you need to educate yourself on investing. This is where you make your money work for you. There are many different types of investments, such as stocks, real estate, and businesses. It's important to understand the risks and rewards of each type of investment and to create a diversified portfolio that will protect your wealth. Next, you need to learn about creating multiple streams of income. Most people rely on one source of income, their job. But what happens if you lose that job or if you get sick and can't work? Creating multiple streams of income not only provides financial security, but it also allows you to live a more fulfilling life. You can pursue your passions and interests while still earning money from different sources. Another important area to educate yourself on is the difference between assets and liabilities. Assets are things that put money in your pocket, while liabilities are things that take money out of your pocket. Many people make the mistake of thinking that their home or car is an asset, but in reality, they are liabilities. They require money, 
to maintain and do not generate any income. Understanding this difference will help you make better financial decisions. Lastly, I want to stress the importance of surrounding yourself with successful people. As the saying goes, you are the average of the five people you spend the most time with. If you want to be successful, you need to surround yourself with successful people. Find a mentor, join a mastermind group, or attend networking events. These people will not only inspire and motivate you, but they will also provide valuable insights and advice. Which leads us to the number two key to changing your mindset and creating financial freedom, which is set clear financial goals. You see, most people go through life without a clear direction or purpose. They wake up each day, go to work, pay their bills, and then repeat the same cycle over and over again. They never stop to ask themselves, what do I truly want in life? What are my financial goals? And because they don't have a clear answer to these questions, they never achieve the success and financial freedom they desire. But let me tell you, my friends, Setting clear financial goals is the key to unlocking your full potential and achieving the life of your dreams. It is the foundation of success and the first step towards creating the life you truly desire. So, what exactly do I mean by setting clear financial goals? Well, it means having a specific, measurable, and achievable target for your financial future. It means knowing exactly how much money you want to make, how you want to make it, and what you will do with it once you have it. Now, I know some of you may be thinking, but Jim, I don't have any goals. I don't know what I want. And to that, I say, it's time to figure it out. You see, having no goals is like trying to navigate through a dark room without a flashlight. You stumble around hoping to find your way, but you never truly know where you're going. And even if you do manage to find your way, it will be a long and difficult journey. But when you have clear financial goals, it's like having a bright spotlight guiding you towards success and financial freedom. You know exactly where you're going, and you can see all the obstacles in your way. And with that clarity, you can make the necessary adjustments and take the right actions to overcome those obstacles and reach your destination. Now, I want to make one thing clear. Setting clear financial goals is not about being greedy or materialistic. It's about taking control of your life and creating the freedom to live it on your terms. It's about having the resources to take care of yourself and your loved ones, to give back to your community, and to make a positive impact in this world. So, how do you go about setting clear financial goals? Well, the first step is to get crystal clear on what you want. Take some time to sit down and really think about your ideal life. What does it look like? How much money do you want to make? How do you want to make it? Write it all down and be as specific as possible. Next, break down your big financial goals into smaller, achievable targets. This will help you create a roadmap to success and give you a sense of progress as you reach each milestone. For example, if your ultimate goal is to make a million dollars, break it down into smaller targets of $100,000, $250,000, $500,000, etc. This way, you can celebrate each milestone and keep yourself motivated to reach the next one. Now, I want to share with you a powerful technique that has helped me and countless others achieve their financial goals. It's called visualization. Every day, take a few minutes to close your eyes and visualize yourself already living your ideal life. See yourself in your dream house, driving your dream car, and enjoying all the luxuries and experiences you desire. Feel the emotions of success and financial freedom. This will not only motivate you, but it will also attract the opportunities and resources you need to make your vision a reality. But setting clear financial goals is not enough. You must also take action towards achieving them. And this is where most people fall short. They have big dreams and goals, but they never take the necessary actions to make them a reality. They let fear, doubt, and excuses 
hold them back from reaching their full potential. But let me tell you, my friends, success and financial freedom require hard work, dedication, and perseverance. You must be willing to do whatever it takes to achieve your goals. You must be willing to step out of your comfort zone, take risks, and overcome any challenges that come your way. And as you take action towards your financial goals, remember to always stay focused and disciplined. It's easy to get distracted by shiny objects and get off track. But if you stay true to your goals and keep taking consistent action, you will eventually reach them. Which leads us to the number one key to changing your mindset and creating financial freedom, which is identify and challenge limiting beliefs. You see, our beliefs shape our thoughts, our actions, and ultimately our results. And if we have limiting beliefs, they will hold us back from reaching our full potential and achieving the financial freedom that we desire. So what exactly are limiting beliefs? These are the thoughts and beliefs that we hold on to, often without even realizing it, that keep us from taking risks, trying new things, and reaching for our dreams. They are the little voice inside our head that says, you're not good enough, you'll never succeed, or you don't have what it takes. But here's the thing, my friends. These beliefs are not based on facts or reality. They are simply stories that we have told ourselves over and over again until we start to believe them as truth. And the dangerous thing about limiting beliefs is that they become self-fulfilling prophecies we believe we can't do something, so we don't even try. And when we don't try, we don't succeed. And then we use that as evidence to reinforce our limiting beliefs. But what if I told you that you have the power to change these beliefs? What if I told you that you have the ability to rewrite the stories that you tell yourself? It all starts with identifying and challenging your limiting beliefs. The first step is to become aware of your thoughts. Pay attention to the little voice inside your head. What is it saying? Is it positive and empowering, or is it negative and limiting? Once you become aware of your thoughts, you can start to challenge them. Ask yourself, is this belief based on facts, or is it just a story I've been telling myself? What evidence do I have to support this belief? What would happen if I let go of this belief and replaced it with a more empowering one? You see, my friends, we often hold on to these limiting beliefs because they are familiar and comfortable. But I want to challenge you to step out of your comfort zone and challenge these beliefs. Because on the other side of fear and discomfort lies growth and success. Now, I understand that this is not an easy process. It takes time and effort to identify and challenge our limiting beliefs, but I can assure you, it is worth it. Because once you start to let go of these beliefs, you open yourself up to a world of possibilities. You start to believe in yourself and your abilities. You start to take risks and try new things. And most importantly, you start to see results, and these results will lead you on the path towards financial freedom. But let me be clear, my friends. Challenging your limiting beliefs does not mean that you will never experience failure or setbacks. It simply means that you will no longer let these beliefs hold you back. You will have the resilience and determination to keep going, even in the face of adversity. And as you continue on this journey of personal growth and development, you will start to see that anything is possible you will start to believe that you are capable of achieving your wildest dreams, and you will start to create the financial freedom that you have always desired. So, my friends, I urge you to take action today. Start identifying and challenging your limiting beliefs. And as you do so, remember these words from the great Henry Ford. Whether you think you can or you think you can't, you're right. <laughs>